NerdRotic.com. Welcome back to the NerdRotic channel. My name is Gary Beekler. I'm in San Francisco, California. I come to you from NerdRotic.com, and I'd like to talk to you about uh, Star Trek to receive the Governor's Award at the Emmys. Uh, comes to us from the pantheon of journalism, comicbook.com. Uh, before I get started, uh, the Emmys are completely irrelevant, a 20th century model that I used to care about. I used to care about my shows winning Emmys. Um, I used to care about uh, my movies winning Academy Awards. And then after, you know, 30, 40 some odd years of them completely ignoring us nerds, us fans of genre, uh, space cadets, as we used to be called, um, really F off. We don't need you now. We don't. You know, I, I it's the years watching Annie Hall win Best Picture over Star Wars or Chariots of Fire winning Best Picture over Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, where were you then? So now that your ratings are in the crapper, you think the nerds are going to save you. We're not. And you think this is going to bring us to watch your show. We're not. Um, I'm glad they're getting the award. Again, it's long overdue. Love Star Trek, most of it. But uh, I'll get into my theories after we go through the article here. And this is an article by Jamie Lovett. Star Trek is set to receive one of the highest honors in television this year. The franchise will be awarded the 2018 Governor's Award from the Television Academy as part of this year's Emmy Award celebration. Star Trek was chosen to receive the award for its contribution to art and society during its more than 50-year history. And that reminds me, why isn't this being passed out, or why wasn't it passed out during your 50th anniversary? Uh... Did it not matter back then? Uh, you totally screwed the pooch on the 50th anniversary, man. Doctor Who has it all over you on that one. Um, or maybe it, they're giving it out because it's a good distraction for a certain video game that looks a lot like Star Trek Discovery, allegedly, called Tardigrades. Shout out to Anas Abdin. Uh, love you, man. Um, good luck. Uh, no, uh, th th that's part of it. Let, let me continue on, and then we'll peel back the layers of, of what I think this really is. Uh, Star Trek is the first television program I can remember watching as a child and has always been ahead of its time, says Governor Award Committee Chair Mark Spatney as part of the announcement. Not only all the franchises promoted inclusiveness and acceptance of all people and inspired creative thought about space, exploration, and our future, but the technical innovations sparked by the franchise are in incredibly significant to the evolution of television production and also the communication and computer tools we use for our daily life. We are honored to present the award to a franchise that has made it made such a lasting contribution to both television and our society. Wow. Laying it on thick for a television show you probably didn't know existed. And the you as the Emmy Academy or whatever, uh, wouldn't give the time of day to until a couple of years ago or possibly CBS's check cleared. Um, for over 50 years, Star Trek has captivated and connected fans from around the world. Uh, what the series always brilliantly illustrated is that despite our greatest differences, we as a people are more alike than we realize. And coming together in hopes of a better tomorrow is not just a possibility, but it's a necessity because... Resistance is futile. Your culture will be assimilated in service of ours, uh, said David Stapp, president of CBS Television. Uh, the impact of Star Trek is far-reaching and inspired not only countless individuals, but great advancements in technology, science, healthcare, space exploration, genital disease, and more. We are so grateful to the brilliant minds and talented individuals, both in front and behind the camera, who boldly tell stories and stand the test of time. Thank you to the Television Academy for honoring this historic Star Trek legacy and to everyone who has contributed to its success. Uh, also said David Staff of CBS, who has owned this property for just a few years and was originally a network that didn't even want Star Trek. Um, yeah, so the Governor's Award, what's the big deal? This was first handed out, it says here, in 1978, and it is uh, decided on by a Board of Governors of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, or the guys who can cash the checks, uh, and gals. Uh, the award honors an individual or organization achievement in television arts and sciences, and whoever pays the biggest check, allegedly. Huh. Here's the best part. The latest Star Trek television series, Star Trek Discovery, received two Emmy Awards nominations for its first season. 
Wow. Uh, the series is nominated for Outstanding Prosthetic Makeup. Uh, yeah, that Klingon bumpy booby sex scene was not outstanding. And Outstanding Sound Editing for a Comedy or Drama. Uh, well, I guess we know <laughs> what uh, category that this show is in. Sonar in Space, Klingon Sex. Yeah. Hilarious. Freaking Skyping. God damn, Last Jedi and Star Trek Discovery did the Skyping thing. Mind melding for Skyping. What the frack? We see what you're doing, Emmy Awards, and we see what you're doing, CBS. Uh, the timing of this is interesting. And what's been going on is since the Star Trek convention, there's been a ton of Star Trek news, and not all of it has been good. And I don't think they were planning on that. But they have countermeasures for this. This has been happening for years in Hollywood. There's a, an achievement award or something to distract it. All of a sudden, something good comes out to distract from the badness that has been going on in your property. Like, just the basic hate for Star Trek Discovery, I think, led to the Patrick Stewart announcement. And maybe the lawsuit led to this announcement. You know, it's punch counter punch. And again, I will mention, uh, Anas Abdeen's lawsuit, the tardigrades lawsuit. He is alleging that, uh, his story was plagiarized star Trek discovery. A lot of similarities. There's a lot of similarities. Please refer to, uh, my video on the lawsuit. Please go to Anas Abdeen's Twitter, go to his blog and read about it. Also go to midnight's edge after dark. They have a, a video. Midnight's edge has a video. Dictor Van Doomcock has a, an interview with Anas Abdeen. And Mecha Random 42 has videos on it as well. And finally, the Metro has written about this lawsuit. It has taken a while, but I think it's getting some traction. So while maybe this announcement wasn't to counteract that in particular, I think it might have been drummed up to counteract the hate for Star Trek Discovery. Now, again, this is long overdue. You know, this should have happened in the freaking 70s, but it is the Emmys. They are tired. It is old. And we're not coming back. Not, uh, yeah. The, uh, you want to get us back? Nominate Legion for a few awards. Nominate The Expanse for a few awards. I don't know. Go retroactively give some governor's awards to Ronald D. Moore for Battlestar Galactica. I could go on and on. You've ignored us, kicked dirt in our faces for years, and now you want us when your ratings are in the crapper. Go to hell. Too little, too late, Emmys. We see right through you. And as our Patreon video goes across, I'll sum everything up here. Uh, it's a sad state of affairs with Star Trek Discovery. I'm glad it won the award. I am. I, you know, I, I don't want to sound like I'm just hating on everything Star Trek. No, it's just a very small percentage of it I'm really hating. I can't even say I'm disliking. I'm hating. The rest of it I absolutely love and adore. Um, so I'm happy it's getting that, but I mean, just seeing it mixed in, you know, random did a great video of start, uh, the star Trek Twitter put up a captain's photo and it was Michael Burnham front and center. She's not even a captain. She's a mutineer. She's a traitor. She's an idiot. Ah, uh, see, it triggers me. It's almost as bad as the doctor who picture, but well, that, that, that's a separate video. So God, thanks for bringing that up. Random that is why the tribunal exists. What is the tribunal, you ask? Well, it's a lot like the High Council, except not, because it's about Star Trek, and it has Dictor Van Doomcock, Mecha Random 42, Tom from Midnight's Edge After Dark, and yours truly. Uh, we will be joining forces to put pop culture on trial. There'll be somewhat of a format. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be mostly fun. So tell me what you think of these recorded videos. Do you like them? Do you hate them? I don't know. Tell me. I want to know. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to start doing these. So that's the, that's the reason I'm starting. We, we will still and always will do everything wrong on our channel. We will show our faces. We do big, long videos. Uh, no, we actually cover TV here, and uh, we do visceral reviews right afterwards that are live. So we'd love for you to join us in the chat, because we do have one of the best chats on YouTube. The channel is growing, and we're having a lot of fun. It's the best hobby a guy could ask for, and I am grateful all of you are around. So, yes, there is a lot of good. We mostly cover good here, but we're going to be capping on Star Trek Discovery for for quite some time, but there's always, like I said, the expanse and Legion, and there's a lot of good TV shows. So thank you for listening. Please check out nerdrotic.com for our live schedule and may the small folks sing songs of your greatness and hail doomcock. Nerdrotic.com. Please subscribe. <laughs>